We've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 right here, the base version. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to gain root access to not only this device, but all devices in the Redmi Note 10 series, including the Redmi Note 10, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, and the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, as well as the 5G variant. The main requirement we have before we can, can complete this tutorial is that we have to have the bootloader of the device unlocked. It is easier to unlock the bootloader for some of these variants than it is for others. I have done a tutorial on how I unlocked my Redmi Note 10 as well as how to unlock other devices in this series with the Snapdragon chipset and I'll be linking to that video in the description below as well as all of the other requirements in this tutorial such as where to download the firmware and where to download Majisk and tutorials that I've already done in the past like how to install ADB and Fastboot tools. These requirements are going to be linked in the video description below. So we've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 here. It's on the latest version of MIUI as of recording this video and we need to make note of the version you're currently using. So look at this MIUI version section. I'm currently on 12.0.5. I need to make note of that for whenever I download the firmware. And as you can see right now, Majisk is not currently installed. We do not have root access. But at the end of this video, that's going to change. So now that you know the device name that you have as well as the version of MIUI that you're currently running. We can go to this website, Xiaomi Firmware Updater, tap the scroll to downloads. We're going to be keeping on the ROM and latest options checked right here. And all we have to do is simply type in the name of our device. You can see we're going to be getting different options. I have the Mojito variant, as evident by the code name for my device. Once your device is selected here, we're just going to tap on download. It's going to take us to a page that's going to list a bunch of different versions of MIUI, typically for the different regions. So if we remembered before, we were on 12.0.5 and I'm on the global version of MIUI. So now that I know we're on 12.0.5 and I'm on glo the global one, we're just going to tap the download option for that firmware. And you're going to get a couple of options here. First is the recovery ROM. We do not want to download the recovery ROM. It is smaller, but it does not give us access to the boot.image file that we need. So instead, you need to scroll down until you see the fast boot type. And when you get to the fast boot type that matches your device name and your MIUI version, then we can download that full ROM. Just to give you a quick overview of how we extracted these files, I use a program called 7-Zip. So this is the firmware file that I downloaded. It's a four and a half gig file. When I extract that file, it gives me this bigger file. Then I extract this file to get a folder. And in the folder that it extracts right here, you're going to get a set of files that look like this, as well as a folder labeled images. And typically this is where the boot.image file is located. 
So as we downloaded that fast boot version of the MIUI firmware, we extract down the contents until we see the boot.image file. We're going to take this image file and we're going to copy it to our Xiaomi Redmi Note 10. So back to our smartphone. Now that we have the boot.img file on this phone, if you have not done so already, download and install the Magisk application the APK, you're going to need to, going to, need to side load that application. Once we open it up, we're going to see an install button in the Magisk section right here. We're just going to tap on that. And we want to choose the select and patch a file option. That should automatically open up a file browser and since I put the boot image file in the download section it's going to show up in the recents if you need to browse and locate where you copied that boot image file do so with the expanded menu here but it's likely that you're going to see it show up in the recent default page so we're just going to tap on the boot image file and then we're going to tap the let's go option right there. And you can actually watch and see what's going on. This is what the Magisk application is doing to that boot image file. It's taking the contents of it, inserting the binaries that are required to gain root access, and then patch it, packaging it back up so that we can simply flash that boot image via ADB and Fastboot tools. And you can see right here, the output file has been written to our download folder and it has been labeled magisk underscore patched, some random letters, and then .img. We need to take that file, we're gonna connect our USB cable back up to the phone. We're gonna copy this back to our PC. We need to put it in the same folder as our ADB and fast boot tools. Now before we can actually flash that patched file we need to boot this phone into fast boot mode. And again if you're not familiar with how to do this look in the video description I've done a tutorial that shows uh, and explains how to do this. We're just booting by holding down the power and volume down buttons but definitely check out that tutorial if you're curious about how that works. And once we are in, once we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 in fastboot mode, we can connect it back to our PC with that USB cable. So I've got the smartphone connected to the PC as mentioned. Here is my minimal ADB and fastboot tools folder. As I mentioned, I have copied that output file, the magisk underscore patched file, into the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools, specifically the same minimal ADB and Fastboot folder, so that whenever I use the desktop shortcut, it instantly opens up a command prompt in the same folder that we actually need. So with our phone connected, if you want, similarly to whenever we run ADB devices, we can run fastboot devices. Just to make sure that our PC recognizes our phone while it's in fastboot mode, if you do not get a random string of letters right here with the message fastboot, it's likely either you don't have the required ADB and fastboot USB drivers. It's possible that the phone or computer does not like the USB cable you have, you're using or the USB port. It's recommended to use a USB 2.0 port if possible. So as long as our de device is recognized via fastboot, we can type out the command that we need to. 
which is going to be fast boot space flash space boot and then the exact file name of what we have. Now if you want we can rename that file to anything we want. We can rename that file back to simply just boot.img if we wanted to. I'm just keeping it as it was so typically you can start typing out the name and then just press the tab button and it should autocomplete for you so you don't have to type it out. But if that does not work for you, you can simply just manually type out the full name of that file, that patched file. And I'll be including this command in the video description for you as well. So you can simply copy and paste it if you want. Once we have the command typed out, just press enter on the keyboard. You're going to be told that the fastboot.exe program is sending this patched file to the phone with the target usually boot underscore a the phone does use the dual partition system so it could be boot underscore b does not matter here since we selected just the boot partition here by default it's going to select it for us and this will change depending on how many over-the-air updates you have installed but in any case we just want to see that program send the patched file and then write the patched file with an OK message for each of them. From here now all we have to do is reboot the phone. We can do that with the command fastboot space reboot or we can press the power button for 7 to 10 seconds to force the device to reboot. It doesn't matter which method you choose. Since we're going to be using the power button, we can go ahead and unplug the USB cable. We're going to press and hold the power button. Usually it's 7 to 10 seconds, but we're just going to hold the button until the phone restarts. And again, we could have issued that fastboot command to reboot the phone as well. And after we execute that command, then we would unplug the USB cable. Should be just a regular boot cycle that you are used to. We are not doing any type of factory data reset. So you're not losing any of the data you have on your phone. We're just simply patching the boot image that was already installed. So once we boot back into Android, we can go over, look at that Magisk application, open it up. And then at the top, it should say that yes, Magisk is now installed and that it, it is using the RAM disk method. You can also go in the Play Store and download the popular Root Checker app. And this will just give you a example showing that the super user prompt is going to appear like normal. So that is how to gain root access to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, and the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max.